morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nachina Kirawut. My name is Lesh Nokarwan Kun. My name is Lesh Tazai. Today, I would like to present a science and mathematics project on the study of Potosua parasitic outbreak in white shield in the south of the Lower Tonka Pirate Lake. Utility of project. Why shrimp are an important economic, aquatic animal for fishermen in the southern part of Thailand. However, fishermen are also facing the problem of aquatic animal disease in shrimp, one of which is eagerlin. A disease caused by an outbreak of protozoa in the gastrointestinal tract of shrimp that can cause economic damage. Objective to determine the infestation of the Parasti Podoswani Makati SPP in Waishim in the south of the Lower Songha Lake, to determine the relationship between in the infestation of Nimakati SPP in Waishim and salinity and pH of the seawater in the south of the Lower Songha Lake. Methodology This is the map of Songha Lake. And this is four points that we should to collect shim in the lower Songha Lake. First step, determination of Borosoni Manhosi SPP in white shim. One, prepare a 1.5 percent waste by volume salt concentration. Two, make a shim skewer by attaching a made ball skewer to a needle and rubbing it with scrub tape to make a skewer. Three, remove the head of the shim and use thaw to pull the shim inside the center of the shim bag and place it in pretty dish. Four, three to four drop of prepared slide in a pretty dish. Five, use a skewer to scrub the shim, stuffing out of the prepared shim stuffing. Then remove the shim gun to spread out so that it is not too dead. Six, suck up shim with, with a dropper. Seven, drop the food. Particle and the salt shim into the slide and cover with the slide cover. 8. The slide were examined for protozoa parasite, thought are magnified like microscope, 10 eggs to 40 eggs, and then take a picture of the protozoa parasite file. 9. The image of protozoa parasite were examined for accuracy by expert. 10. Record the number of the shim. Decided with parasite per total shim sample. The results in spot 4 have the highest infection at 93.33%. And spot 2 have the lowest infections at 46.67%. Second step, measurement of salinity and pH of seawater. And the result is at spot 4, which have the highest infestation, have the highest salinity but the lowest pH. And spot 2, which have the lowest infestation, have the lowest salinity but the highest pH. Third step, finding the relationship between infection and seawater salinity, the relationship between the infection of nematocyte SPP and seawater salinity and pH was determined by statistical analysis using person correlation methods SPP version 26. And the result is the infestation and salinity values were positively correlated at a high level. But the infestation and pH values were negatively correlated at a high level. Summary and discussion. Spot 4 is the highest infestation spot, representing an infection of 93.33%, where the salinity was the highest and the lowest pH at 6.98. And spot 2 is the lowest infestation spot, representing an infection of 46.67%, where the salinity was the lowest and the highest pH is 7.12. It was concluded that higher salinity results in an increase in infestation lab values, but in the range of pH 6.98 to 7.12, higher pH values result in lower infestation. And the relationship between infections and seawater salinity is directly proportional. The relationship between infections and seawater pH is inversely proportional. Feedback. 
Nematodes infections vary from season to season. During this research, it was November, which was the rainy season. Rainfall can affect salinity. Therefore, shrimp sample should be kept for rainwood once for accuracy. In this research, the salinity and pH balance of seawater were measured by from the first step to the medium level. The depth of the water may affect the salinity, the salinity may be inaccurate. Therefore, the water samples should be corrected at the same depth as the shrimp inhabitants. Thank you for your attention.